So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes looking at what type of pencil erases the best. As opposed to being focused on the paper, the brand of pencil, the type of pencil, you know, like the model, or the eraser, I want to focus right now on the hardness of the lead. So generally speaking, if you want good erasing, should you use an HB, an F, a 10H, a 2H, a 10B? Where on that scale should you, uh, should you go? I'll preface this by saying the HB, which is the most popular size, you know, like it's like an equivalent of a number two in the US, is different. This isn't a standard. Uh, it's not a, uh, an ISO standard or something like that, the way we see with uh, ballpoint pen sizes. HB is like a center point between the you know 10H and 10B, and it's just a good general use pencil that every brand decides for themselves what they want to call their 10 HB. Sometimes they call it an F, sometimes they call it HB. Anyway, so here's a range of HB pencils. The one exception here is the Blackwing, which people consider to be a general use pencil anyway, even though it's, it's more of like a 2B, 3B around there. And then here I have the... Uh, the hardness scale. So within HBs, what erases the best? And then out of the scale, here's just a, a good general selection of high quality pencils from 10H to 10B. We'll do some erasing and we'll see which ones get the uh, most erasing or the best erasure, the most uh, graphite or lead removed from the page. Okay, so erasers I just picked out kind of randomly from what I had lying around. We have a Pentel Ein, a Tombow Tough, the Sumo Grip, and uh, this Z Cashier. I just use this one with it's a kind of a pencil style eraser. The paper will be a Midori, an MD. Okay, so two erasers done, do a quick review. Looks like within the HBs, pretty similar results uh, on the first two. And that was, uh, the one was the, uh, this pencil type eraser and the second line would be the Tombow Mono. Uh, so pretty similar, looks like get really good erasing from the Caran d'Ache, Swiss wood, which is right here. And then uh, pretty good from the Amazon Basics and the Mitsubishi 9800. The softer stuff like the 2Bs not erasing quite as well. Yeah, maybe it's doing doing okay. Within the, the range itself, you see where the 10H stuff, you think it, it erased really well because it's so light. But that's really not the case. It leaves big marks inside the page, which you have to push so hard. So even though you could remove the lead or the graphite, it's really hard to remove the marks. So it's not as erased as it could be. Here we are getting into kind of the sweet spot for erasing kind of that F to B. Uh, yeah, F to B. Right around there, you're getting really good erasure. As you get too dark, you're kind of smearing the lead more than you are picking it up. And it gets really hard to erase a, you know, 8B, 10B quite well. So, so far, this is kind of confirming what I had previously believed to be true, that you uh, generally for really good erasing, you want to be in the mid range. So somewhere between 2H and 3B say and uh, probably leaning more towards the bees just because you don't require as much pressure on the page as we're seeing up here. Okay, so looking at overall eraser performance, now we have the uh, other two erasers, I guess the Ein and the Sumo Grip, Ein and Sumo Grip. And uh, first of all, it looks like the, the uh, 
this iron seems to be the most effective eraser. It's like really nice, nice clean action right there. Maybe it's a little hard to pick up on video where sometimes you can see more contrast from the indent of the line than you can the actual removal of the lead, but it really is, uh, is nice over there. Uh, so really good performance again on the Amazon Basics and uh, Karan Daash and that Mitsubishi in the HB range. And then here we see the, uh, the best removal in F2B. And this, this Faber 2B seems to be a little bit hard to pick up, but then in this uh, Mitsubishi 3B, good removal there. Move on to the deeper colors over here and we will restrict it to the, to the Ein high polymer eraser for now. Okay, so that was a serious set of erasing passes, more so than you typically do, but I wanted to really get the best possible removal from there. And again, I'll try to keep this all in frame. You have the uh, basically range 10B to 10H. You can see how the 10B and even the 3B, eh, really more so the 10B, is problematic because you get staining and smearing. It's really nice erasing here in this 2B type range, particularly with this one right here, that's the Mitsubishi. Uh, you know, good here too, with the F and all. And then as we get into the H's, still good, the color's removed, but you see a lot of indent there. And uh, that's just, again, it's just a function of how, how much force is required to write. But again, it's almost complete color removal, but you could, it's basically still legible. Uh, I don't have the pencil here, but basically it's still legible there. A little bit better over here, and that's a 2B where, uh, you know, can you see some of those circles? Sure, but uh, it's much harder to pick up what's going on there. This 2B, the Faber 2B, is a little bit harder than that Mitsubishi 2B, so that's the difference between those two. Then here we're back to the Mitsubishi 3B, and uh, not quite as good as above here, a little bit more color left, but still good erasing. So I think we're starting to come to some conclusions now. Uh, you know, this is not a perfect test. The paper, things will vary with paper, and obviously we're seeing some variation from brand to brand and eraser to eraser. But when using, I would say, the best eraser and uh, a consistent set of pencils, we're seeing really good removal and, and what's hard to pick up in, uh, you know, 2B, 3B. So if you have any other thoughts on this matter, please do uh, drop a note in the comments. I read them all and it'd be interesting to get your feedback. Obviously, it's a pretty limited test given the huge range of papers, pencils, erasers, and even like uh, models of pencils available today.